you won't believe what Egyptian pharaoh Ramses II looked like. For the first time, scientists used a CT scan to reconstruct his face. Scientists were able to recreate the handsome face of the most famous pharaoh in ancient Egypt, King Ramses II, for the first time in 3,200 years, by using a 3D model of his skull in order to reconstruct his features in a scientific way. The British Daily Mail reported that scientists from Egypt and England collaborated to take a hypothetical image of King Ramses II at the time of his death, using a 3D model of his skull to reconstruct his features. Then they reversed the aging process, turning back the clock, to reveal his face at the peak of his powers. The result is the first scientific facial reconstruction of a pharaoh, based on a CT scan of his actual skull. Caroline Wilkinson, director of the facial lab at the University of Liverpool that reconstructed the pharaoh's features, described what was done, the tomography model and the dimensions of the skull were taken, and fed into our computer system. She explained, through a pre-designed facial anatomy database, we imported it and then modified it to fit the skull. So basically, we're building the face from the surface of the skull to the surface of the face, then through the muscle structure, the fat layers, and finally the skin layer. She said, putting a face on the king's mummy will humanize him and create a bond, as well as restore his legacy and his courage, because King Ramses II was a great warrior who ruled Egypt. King Ramses II belongs to the 19th dynasty in ancient Egypt, where his rule extended between 1279 and 1212 BC, and his reign was the last peak of the imperial power of Egypt. He ascended the throne as the third king of the 19th dynasty, at the age of 25. It is believed that during his 67-year reign, he built more temples and fathered more children than any other pharaoh. The fame of Ramesses II is due to his penchant for self-propaganda. He is mainly remembered for the colossal statues he commissioned Egyptian artists to sculpt, and for his massive building program. It is believed that he died in his early 90s. In the end, we know that you haven't seen the pharaoh in flesh, but do you think this depiction is accurate?